Hi, this is Ushio, and this is Kingdom Hearts 3. Finally, we made it. So this first part of this series isn't coming out on the launch day, because, I don't know, it took so many years for the games to come out. What's a few days late going to matter on the grand scheme of things? It's no problem, it's fine. But this is Sora, and he's having a nibble on one of those Pow Pow fruits by the looks of it. Okay, memory archive has been unlocked on the title screen. I've literally just put this game in for the first time so sure no problem but we should go new game uh does it matter what difficulty we do oh a threading challenge packed with powerful enemies i'm not doing it normal recommended for first time players wow it's just too standard it's fine let's, let's get into this i don't care just play so that's an image of a fairly Grown up looking Sora on the beach munching pow pow fruits. Okay. This okay, it's the loading screen. I guess they're all on uh, Instagram or something. On we go. So here's this intro video. If it kicks into a J pop song, I'm gonna mute it because that's the shit that gets my uh, copyright strikes on my channel, which I do not want. So, where is this? Lots of windmills and seagulls and stuff. But overall, yeah, I've played a fair amount of Kingdom Hearts on my channel. I've done the first game, the second game, Birth by Sleep and 0 0.2. All within the last few months. I've completely tanked my channel by playing just those and pretty much no other games. So, I kind of feel as though I've earned my way to get to this point. I do enjoy all the Disney references and I do quite like just playing it and beating up Heartless and Nobodies and stuff like this. So this is our intro sequence. Have you heard of the ancient Keyblade War? Yes. Huh? Of course I have. Long ago, Keyblade wielders waged a war over the ownership of light. Yeah, the master's favorite story. I wonder what they planned on doing with Kingdom Hearts after making it appear. Who knows? I don't get why anyone would initiate a war. So, you know the lost masters. Who? They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Never heard of them. Where'd you hear about that? Or... They're the ones for whom... The war started. I'm not following you. You can drop the facade. Facade? On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. A prospective Keyblade Master should know this. If you say so. The gazing eye sees the fate of the world. The future. It's already been written. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Besides, who's to say I can't change it? And maybe light will prevail. <laughs> Pretty confident. But things aren't in your favor. Perhaps, but unlike darkness, there is more light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. Who are you? Oh, I hope so. Bad dude alert. It's got to be a bad guy. Is it Ansem or Xehanort? In disguise, who knows? Okay, that's the end of that scene. So, some kind of... was it chess? It probably wasn't chess. It was some kind of made-up thing. But yeah, this is kind of the nature of how I do these Let's Plays. In case you're not familiar before from seeing my other gameplays, I normally go a little bit quiet when there's a cutscene, so you can kind of see what's going on with the story. And then I talk over the regular gameplay. This is it. Kingdom Hearts the Third. Sweet. They can take your world? 
They can take your heart. You don't need to subtitle this bit. Cut you loose from all you know. But if it's your fate, then every step forward will always be a step closer to home. Okay, so if it's your fate, I guess these guys are a fair fan of predestination. So we got the two people playing chess. Not a hundred percent on who each of them are. Obviously, one of them's a bad dude. One of them's a a regular good guy. But because the story is so, yeah, now we're back in time. Now we're like ten years ago. Yeah, Terra got turned into Zaynor. Here come them spoilers in case you're not already aware. This is Ventus, potentially Roxas, potentially half of Sora. Who even knows? And then you got Aqua. She's kind of like the, kind of the wild card out of all the old school generation Keyblade Masters. Fast forward, now you're on the island, you've got Riku, Sora, Kairi. And the connection between Ventus and Sora, I haven't played Dream Dot Distance, so if that was explained, I've missed it. Riku kind of turned to the dark side, got a little bit possessed, but ultimately it was all okay, no problem. Kairi went bye-bye. <laughs> I'm definitely muting out this music because this is obviously copyrighted material that's going to get flagged up if I leave it on here. So, if I'm to guess... Oh, here we go. This is the, the DS game. Shion, the, the 14th member of Organization 13, dropping them salty ice creams. I never finished that game. I don't really know what happened to her. She turned into a scale? Who knows? <laughs> Someone fill me in, maybe. So we're getting a complete summary of everything that's gone on. This is Axel fighting Roxas. This was... When was that? Kingdom Hearts 2? And Kyrie. This isn't the first time I've seen any of this. I've deliberately avoided as many spoilers as I can. Because, yeah, there's going to be a trailer for a game, but if you know that you're already going to buy it, I don't see the benefit of watching the trailer ahead of time. You can kind of savour the moment and enjoy it yourself for the first time. Okay, this is when we fought Ansem. It said, ultimately, it wasn't Ansem. I don't know. This is the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. So at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1, everyone got put to sleep for a year, then they woke up a little bit older. So this is the end of Kingdom Hearts 2, moving into Dream Drop Distance, I believe, which, yeah, again, I've never played that one. This is Xehanort, definitely a bad dude. There's Goofy and Mickey, though. Goofy and Mickey, Goofy and Donald, why am I like this? There's so many characters, but I should know at least the, the core character names by this point. But never mind. So, yeah, Xehanort, he's like the major bad dude. In case you, you must be familiar by this point. But Xehanort, definitely don't trust this guy. But it seems like we are making it to the end of the opening cutscene. Lots of visual references. A lot of it's mainly keeping up and filling in gaps on how we've made it this far. But yeah, there are a lot of characters. If you look at the front of the box, just on the box art, there's like a bazillion characters all over it. So if I pick it up, what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 characters on the front cover alone. And that's just your principal good guy cast. No, none of the bad guys, none of the side characters. But okay, we have made it. Sora is floating down. Normally, the starts of the Kingdom Hearts games, they're a little bit... They take their time to pick up the pace. So, like, Kingdom Hearts 2 had a massive, like, three-hour-long, like, prologue. And it's just like, can we please get on with it? But <laughs> this is how we're going to do. There are seven hearts to save. Okay. We know how to walk. Seriously? Okay. We can walk. It's fine. 
Yeah, that's cool. Approach the mirror. It's, we're on a proper, like, stained glass window type thing. It's really translucent and stuff. Approach the mirror. When a green situation command appears, press triangle. No problem. Examine. Look at your reflection. Yo, what's up? Touch. So, mirrors are a major theme. I just recently played... Uh, yeah, 0 0.2, and mirrors was such a, a major part of that gameplay. So it looks like that is a theme they're going to continue. These are all the memories of all the previous incidents of the previous games. That's Kingdom Hearts 1, toward the end. And that is when... So Kingdom Hearts is basically a, a door kind of thing, you can seal it off. And that was a bit where Mickey sealed it off by remaining in the darkness. Sora sealed it from the, the light side. So it's all it's all stuff going on. What do you desire? What 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 do you mean? Okay, so we have got three options. So what's that? Friendship? This one's fighting, and this one's defense, I guess. Let's have a look. What have we got? Choose wisdom. Choose vitality. Choose balance. I don't Oh, I can roll straight off the bat. Okay, what have we got? Wisdom. A sharp mind that will grant you mastery of wondrous power. Is this what you desire? Uh, no. Do I want this? Vitality. A rugged body that will endure even the toughest of challenges. Is this what you desire? No. I might as well check out all of my options. Balance. A body and mind of equal merit and equal potential. Is this what you desire? I... yeah, seems about right. I don't know what I want to do. I normally rely more on physical attacks. But what with Birth by Sleep and 0 0.2, it really forces you to use the magic more. So, let's go with both. Hopefully this will work out. Got it. So many memories. But please don't remind me of the Ariel and the Little Mermaid songs in Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, is this when we fought Roxas in Kingdom Hearts 2? I found that to be quite a tough fight. That is Namine. Pinky Promise. Is that from Chain of Memories? Not sure. And this is from Dream Drop Distance. So yeah, I only recognise one out of three. What power do you seek? What is this, a personality quiz for the start of the game? Alright, first up, what do we got? The power of the guardian. Kindness to aid friends. Okay. What else? The power of the warrior. Invincible courage. Uh, I don't know what that means. It's kind of like cryptic. And it doesn't actually say, oh, this will give you fire power, you know, inner strength. Uh, I really don't know. Ooh. Ooh, I'm really not sure. Let's go f this one? Now? Don't, don't hit it. Okay. The power of the warrior. Yeah, let's, let's do with that. We've gone for balance. Let's make him a little bit stronger. Yes, please. Okay, I hope there aren't too many questions, because otherwise, yeah, this gameplay is going to be a little bit on the slow side anymore. Is this who you are? I don't know who I am until it happens, so I guess we'll just go with it. Cool. Oh. So, okay, shining light. Maybe get to that before the place floods. Because, okay. The water receded. Why? Tidal wave. Cool. I don't recommend running toward tidal waves. Okay. Yeah. You kind of saw that happening if you do that kind of shit. 
These graphics are nice though. I'm so used to seeing Kingdom Hearts in PS2 type graphics. Like Birth by Sleep was nice, but this is this is clean. This is really nice. Seriously, where are we now? Here's some Heartless, so I'm gonna kick the shit out of these. How to fight? Blocking and evading. No problem. Locking on, same as before. Attacking. It's it's I've, yes, it's good. Exit, good. Oh, let's get these kills in. Dodge. Bam. Oh, this is... It feels really nice, actually. That's good. The controls in the past have been a little bit twitchy. Okay. Start off with start off with these ones off the bat. No problem. No. Just just hit hit the hand. Hit, hit something. Air combos. They are back. I love me a good air combo. Okay, cool. I love the the reflection. That's really nice. <laughs> I need to hit something that isn't gonna kill me. No, no. That's good. Isn't it? If you hit the heartless, they'll drop some health for me. That's good. Oh, and some money. Okay, clear off these guys. One more. Yeah, they drop little health pickups, so that's good for me. Two health bars for this guy, so right off the bat, they're giving me boss battles that take up two health bars. That's that's a bit much. Oh, what's he picking up? That's that's no good. Stunned. Can you not be stunned, please? Nope. Run away. Run away. Okay, good. Halfway through the boss. So it's started very much in the form of the, the first Kingdom Hearts game. You kind of choose whether you want to be magic defense or fighting. And then you fight one of these things as well. My health though. Please don't kill me on the very first boss of the game. <laughs> I would not be very impressed if that happened. So close. That's it. Death by wrist attack. No problem. Do you seek further guidance? Uh, I'm good for now. If you get stuck, try the tutorials. No problem. Thank you. So Sora has now learned how to fight and walk and stuff. But I don't know where he is now. How much time's passed? To defeat Xehanort, there are allies we must gather. Acting now to rouse them from their slumber. We have discussed this before, Sora. This was at the end of Your 0 0.2. Mastery, Xan, was conducted in the hopes you would acquire the power to wake them. However, the darkness nearly took control of you. Yeah, you failed. Your grasp of your new abilities leaves much to be desired. Yep, definitely no good. Furthermore, Xehanort nearly made you his vessel, and in the oh. process stripped you of most of the power you had gained by then. I suspect you have already noticed this, correct? But first, you must regain all the strength you have lost. Perhaps it is foolish to expect a complete recovery, but it is absolutely vital you perfect one power. The power of waking, which you failed to master during your exam. There's someone who lost his strength and found it again. A true hero to whom you ought to pay a visit. Perhaps he can point you in the right direction. Four? <laughs> Got it. Hmm. You can count on us to take care of Sora. I would have it no other way. I put Sora in your hands. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be lots of fun. It's not a vacation. <laughs> Let's go. Count on us. Okay, so we're off on an adventure. It always kind of weirds me out how Goofy is shorter than Sora. I always thought Goofy would be, like, tall. <laughs> but I guess not. Off in the gummy ship. So this is the, exactly the same cutscenes that are in Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2. Once you How finish it, it fills you in on this story. So, yeah, we're going straight to it. Like all the old highways are closed. Didn't Master Yen Sid say that Sora should trust the guidance his heart gives? 
Come on, Sora. Let's ride. Um. Hey, would you get serious? Give me a break. I'm trying. These things take time. <sighs> well, since we've already been before, why don't you try picturing our friends like we're there? Cool, Sora. You can do it. Sorry, I got nothing. What did you expect? May your heart be your guiding key. Huh? What's that? Master Yen said always said that. Right before we went off on any of our real important adventures. Really? Ring a bell? Uh -uh. Maybe I just imagined it. May my heart be my guiding key. <laughs> I've got it. Okay, Sora has the keyblade, so he uses that to lock wells. It accesses things, it, it seals things off. Yeah, so he can use that shit to basically go wherever he wants. And yeah, I kind of noted it before on the 0.2 gameplay that he's told to look up. Oh! It's Kingdom Hearts 2.9. What? Okay, so this is literally just before the start of 3. But yeah, it's interesting that he got told to think of his friends and his first thought was Olympus Coliseum. So I guess Hercules is Sora's bestie right now. Sorry, Riku. At long last, the time had come. The planets were edging into perfect alignment. And the plan Hades devised 18 years ago was about to reach fruition. The fates had predicted this very future, the day he would seize control of Olympus and rule over all the cosmos. Hades' previous attempts, using Terra, Cloud, and Orin and to Zach. advance his plans for conquest, had failed. Don't forget Zack. The hour was not yet right. But now the planets were aligned, and nothing could possibly go wrong. A wave of darkness slants down from their celestial rank. And one by one, Hades freed the Titans from their prison. Some of them, the same monstrosities that Sora and his friends had already fought and bested before. But both the Titans and his longing for vengeance against Zeus reinvigorated. Hades began his attack on Olympus. Okay, so we just had like a, a narrated introduction to Hades and the story that has basically been going on in the meantime. Which is kind of cool, it's a bit of a new approach. Normally you kind of show up, you have a little run through of essentially the Disney movie, like the outline of the plot basically. But we've been to Hercules' Colosseum so many times now, they kind of have to work out new ways to keep it going. Huh? So where is this? Uh... No fanfare? <laughs> no. <sighs> no fanfare at all. Come on, Goofy. Surmise the situation. Oh, looks like we missed the Colosseum. I think it's behind you. Mm. <laughs> You opened the gate! <laughs> I was a little off again. Sorry. We'll find him. But we need to go. Up to Mount Etna. Yeah. Up is the usual direction. Well, never hurts to have your head in the clouds. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, uh. Hey! Oh, We're got an update. <laughs> There's so many updates to this game. Oh wow. Okay, so it looks like we are good to go. And there's stuff this way as well. I guess there isn't stuff this way. Okay, let's go as we've been instructed to. Uh, can we can we hit this? So have we got the first person perspective? Because we used to, I could like look at stuff and, but I guess not. But it is cool seeing 
Donald and Goofy. In the cutscenes, they're like really, they're very convincing. Am I floating? Am I? Oh, I'm floating. Good start, Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's move inwards. Heartless straight away, three different types off the bat. And the flying ones, four different types. Casting magic. Okay. Use D-pad to select magic from the command menu, then choose it and press X. Okay, hopefully it's about the same. I haven't got any... Wait, how do I do magic? Okay. Magic. Water. That's a new spell. Do, do water. I'm not convinced by magic just yet. I think I need to equip it to my shortcuts, which I'm unprepared to do. So maybe after this, we'll have a look at the menu. This is our first fight. This feels... You can really see what's going on. A lot of the old games, it felt really panicked and... You just kind of hammer the button and hope for the best. This feels pretty nice, actually. Like You just kind of see what everybody else is doing as well. Good, good, good. Keep this guy stunned. Keep him stunned. Good, 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 good. Level 2. That felt good. Okay. Use the main menu to equip. Did I get some items then? Okay, items. Let's get a look at this menu. Potions, lightning shards, lucid shard. Okay. Customize. Magic. Fire. Shortcuts. Let's have... Yeah, okay. So now we can do some stuff. Let's have fire on triangle. What does water even do? So just over with water that arcs toward the target and creates a small splash on impact. Okay. Seems good. What else have we got? Abilities. All this stuff looks like it's already equipped. Zero XP for daring adventurers who want to play without levelling up. Why? Why would you equip that? <laughs> Donald has got all that good shit. Goofy has all of these. Nice. Anything else? I think abilities go wild. Well, watch your MP. Don't don't go too crazy. Recovery using emergencies. That's fine. Using emergencies. Don't go wild. Watch your MP. Don't just blow everything you've got in one go, so to speak. So looks good. I mean, look at that graphics. It's really nice. That is Zeus. So in Kingdom Hearts 1, we did the Colosseum and not a lot else. You don't really get to explore. In Kingdom Hearts 2, you go to the underworld and you visit like Hades' kind of area. This time, it looks like... Oh, free running. Hit a dead end. Oh, just run up walls. O okay. Sure. So we can run up walls now. So we can. You can like Naruto run up the walls. Oh, and you can, like, dive and glide. Okay. Wasn't expecting that either. Already, I'm off the beaten track. Treasure chest. AP boost. That is going to be in handy. That's it. Grab. So this is the first time we are working our way to Olympus. I guess we're going to meet the gods, maybe. Actually, I'm not supposed to be this way at all, am I? I'm supposed to be going up... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> up this wall. This is the wall we need. Yeah, that is Zeus for sure. I'm not super familiar with Greek mythology. But I'm sure... Well, I know Zeus. That's a start. And I know Hercules. That's, that's a good starting point. I'm sure if there are any more, we'll get used to it. Smash. Okay. What have we come up to? friend or foe, what's it going to be? Well, I think we might be going in circles. Hmm. Did I make a turn at the wrong rock? Hey, Hercules! Where are you? Here we go, this is, yeah, that is Olympus. 
It's not even Olympus Colosseum anymore, it's pure and simple Olympus. So we need to find Hercules while exploring this land. What is that? No, seriously. Oh. Oh. All right. I know I dotted my eyes, crossed my T's, zeroed the hero. Hades. So what gives? Who could possibly be trying to give me a migraine by yodeling that Yutz's name? Really? Hades? <sighs> it's just you. Maybe. It's just us? Even for you, that's cold. Don't forget, I can always turn up the heat! Wait, if Hades is here, then where's her? What is everyone's infatuation with that stone? Chill out. Uh, you know, never mind. Never mind. I'm cool. I'm good. Because Wonder Boy will be out of my hair soon enough. So you're up to no good again. Of course he is. You're back. Oh, easy. What is this, Sparta? Kind of on a schedule. Don't have time to toss around the old fire and brimstone. The whole cosmos is basically waiting for me to, you know, conquer it. Poor Hades. He thinks he can actually pull it off this time. Where are my titans? Show me your power! Okay, so Hades is summoning up his giant monsters. It's turning into a little bit of God of War right now. Oh man, what are we, level 1, level 2? I'm not sure we're quite prepared for that kind of fight. And this lava does not look friendly. Well that didn't work out. That sent him sailing. <laughs> it's so lush. It's really nice to look at. Sailing right to where I left. Ah, no biggie. Nice work, boys. So, back to the whole cosmic coup thing. Okay, he got big friends that, yeah, I definitely don't want to fight him anytime soon. Who's this? Uh, really? Are you kidding? Jeez Louise. Seriously. When it rains, it pours. Okay, who's the new pest? Hey now, that ain't no way to say hello, especially to your old friends. It's Peter Maleficent. Ah, oh, perfect. Now I gotta put up with you too. Funny, I don't remember you doing me any memorable favors. So, you can keep your heartless this time. I'm going back to my original plan, all right? So, toodaloo. <laughs> Exits that away. Hey, it was great seeing you. Happy trails! We are not here for you. I have my own business to attend to. All I need to know is if there is a distinctive black box somewhere in this world. Black box, huh? Hmm. Black box, black box, black box. Hmm. Wait. Don't tell me. You're after the one Zeus hit on Earth? Possibly. If I were, where might it be? So what's the black box about? Okay. So, Pete and Maleficent, they are the two Disney characters, aside from Mickey Donald and Goofy, who kind of hop between the worlds. Most of the other Disney characters kind of stay to their own world, but yeah, Maleficent, she's got bigger plans. She wants to rule everything. Okay, where are we now? We've got blasted downtown. And it's suddenly not very grassy or anything right now. But we found Hercules. Catch us! Can you catch us, please? Nice, good job. I don't know about Donald See, though. Found him. Yeah, I guess this counts. <laughs> Let me down. Hmm? Just a second. <laughs> 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 
Well, two out of three is okay. You guys are here. Sora, Donald, Goofy. You literally dropped in. Gotta say, I'm impressed. This guy is swole. Thanks. Like the catch. Yeah, thanks, Herc. But what's going on? Yeah, it's not the best. Take a guess. Starts with an H. Ah, I get the picture. Actually, we bumped into the h on the way here. <laughs> he said something about conquering the whole cosmos. All of it, huh? Nice of him to show a little self-restraint. Well, whatever he's planning, I'll send him running back across the sticks. <laughs> That's our Herc. So we're reunited with Hercules. Oh, save points, shops, we are good to go. Yeah, we know what they are. I just said, it's fine. And this seems to be a little bit different. Normally, when you play Kingdom Hearts, you have to choose who's in your party. Looks like I've got everyone this time. Why, why can't I adventure in the direction I choose? That's, okay, fine. Let's at least save it. Okay, let's take a look at the shop. What kind of things does it hold? What can we buy? Potions. And a little bit of armour, which we can't afford. I mean... Whatever, but I thought we'd at least have a look. So, yeah, Hercules is super big. It's kind of weird. A lot of the, the levels that we see a bit later on, they're kind of based on the CG movies. So, obviously Hercules was originally... I mean, look at him. Okay, just walk straight through the screen. But it's weird seeing his 2D design rendered in... He was 3D before, but it was more stylized. Here he looks a little bit more naturalistic. I've got mixed opinions. I, d I don't know. But okay, that's what they've gone with, and that's what we're going to work with. Smash. Any money? A couple of money. Oh, we can run up these pillars, because they're shiny. Isn't that right? We can run up shiny stuff? No? I thought we could. I guess not right now. So, Sora, is there a reason you guys are visiting? I'm guessing it's not just for the cheese and olives. Oh yeah! It sounds like somebody forgot. Black Sora! I just took my time remembering. Herc. I came here so I could ask you something. Ask me? Yeah. Do you remember the last time we were together? You were feeling down and out. How'd you get your strength back? When you jumped in and saved Meg? Hmm. Huh. That's tough. All I know is that she was in trouble. Suddenly, I wanted to save her with all my heart. But it's not like I could tell you how. Oh, man. What's wrong? All my strength is gone from me, too. That's why I need you. Because I was hoping you might have a solution or something. I'm sorry, Sora. Mm. Well, I guess leveling up would help. Probably the main reason. Oh, that's falling over. Smack. <laughs> Let's talk later. Right. Once we've dealt with these guys. Oh shit, so many. But yeah, probably the main reason. Oh, if you tilt L in midair and press square to air slide toward walls and poles, you can trigger special moves known as a flow motion. Uh, okay. Let's just try it. F what, flow motion? What here? I don't know, just hit stuff. I'm sure it will become apparent. Ow. But yeah, probably the main reason, oh fuck, that uh, Sora is kind of lost all his strength is because it's a new game and we need to start again from level one. That's, yeah, trying to make it into a bit of a story. I don't know, whatever. Okay, there's our water. This seems to be effective. I would assume it's effective on the fire stuff. Oh god, what is he doing? Hercules is kind of sucking everyone in. Good. No? So 
So what was that flow motion thing it said about? I'm not doing anything special. Never mind. Water. Bam. Oh, that's that's pretty effective actually. Hercules has got a rock. <laughs> All right. One more to go. Is this the last one? No, still more. There we go. Hercules up to level three. Hercules. That's Meg and Pegasus. And Phil. You're okay. Meg. Boy, that didn't look so fun. No, not with the Heartless involved. We're just lucky our friend showed up. Well, what do you know? Sora, Donald, Goofy. <laughs> Guess I owe you a big thank you. Meg, you need to stay someplace safe. We'll search the city and make sure everyone manages to get clear of the fire. Be careful, Wonder Boy. I will. So, you guys in? Of course we're in! We are heroes! Mm-hmm. Break a leg, then. Heroes. Mm. Phil, you should go with Meg. Yeah, bye, Phil. <laughs> Doesn't even get a word in. You gotta keep her safe. The character animation is really, really nice. I kind of take back what I said about being a bit weirded out by Hercules' design. Help! Who said help? Is anyone there? I mean, there is, but who's... Hey! Hmm? I hear a voice! Yeah, who's asking? From which way? Over that way! Mm-hmm. Who are you? Oh no! There's a little girl caught in the fire! Let's go! Wait! Running's too slow! Ugh. Then what's the other choice? Hmm. Oh. I'm just gonna throw something. Get on that! Yeah, okay. Uh, 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 no. So? No way. Like this? That's good. Now hold on tight! Whoa. Whoa. Maybe we should... How is this going to rescue a child? A <laughs> <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. How Was that child rescued? What happened to her? I guess it worked. Thank you for saving me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no prob. <laughs> Bye. Random child. You better check child. and see if anyone else needs us. What? Mm -hmm. Well, if it isn't Sora and the King's Pawns. Huh? Hey, small world or Opposite. worlds, I don't know. Pete! Are you the reason the Heartless are here? Certainly not. Say, Maleficent, I don't know about his sidekicks, but Kid Keyblader here looks way punier than the last time we saw him. <laughs> I say we finish him off while we still can. Waste no time with the boy. He's inconsequential. We have a far more pressing matter to attend to. Hmm? Oh, we got to find that black box. Be silent, you fool. Mm. As for you three, we shall meet again. When I have time for such trifles. Yeah, and you'd better get your act together before that then. zipper. That Later, zip. Twerps. No. Wait. Oh. Oh. <sighs> it's fine. I can take it. Gorge, it sure don't sound like it. Did Pete saying mean things bother you? It's fine. I can take it. You're gonna get stronger. We know you. You can take it. Don't say that. Oh, I just said what he said. I can take it. Okay, Sora can take it. Okay, we have reached a safe point. What is this? Yeah. Big treasure chest. It is a map of thieves. 
So, okay, it looks like our adventure is completely underway. So we've got the introductory sequences out of the way. We are already on our first world. It didn't take as long as any of the other Kingdom Hearts games, to be honest. So, yeah, cool. Kingdom Hearts 3 is underway. And this is Usho signing off, and hopefully I'll see you next time as we continue to explore.